Hello everyone. Let's show you how to add some color to your rocket. We'll start off with a new Blender file and delete the cube and import my standard rocket here. Standard rocket is in my H drive. And here we go. So it's all white right now. And if I look up here in the upper right hand corner, you can see that it says SketchUp for the rocket. So I'm going to rename this to Big Bertha and then begin opening up the different groups that were made in SketchUp. If I right click on any one part I can see that group 0.002 is actually one of the fins. So let me type this as fin 1. So identifying the different parts of the rocket is going to be very important to being able to color it the way you want to. When you have a piece of it selected, you will have this materials button here. And when you click on it, you start off with the single white material. Now you can change this to a new color and everything in the rocket will actually change because if there's only one material, that's the color that it has to be. So I can actually name this material yellow and what I found the easiest way is to then create some different colors so that you can color the rocket different things. So we'll call this one purple and add in maybe a green. Notice you can change the name and then the color or change the color and then the name. But then when I click here, you will see I have these different colors that I can use on the rocket. So let me select a different part of the rocket. You'll notice that this one right here, this one is a little different. Because of the way that this fin was attached to the rocket, it cannot be colored separately from the body of the rocket. And so in this case, I'm going to take this other fin. Wait, let me find this one. Group 0 is actually fin and body. So I'm going to color the opposite fin the same color, just so that that keeps that symmetry there. So this one I will go back and that's fin 1. I'm going to make it yellow as well. So I can find the lug, right click up here, ah, there's the lug, rename it, L-U-G for lug. And there's some other parts of the rocket here. If we look at the bottom, we have an engine. If I right click on it, I can find where the engine is, engine. And in this case, we've got a few other things that can be selected, such as this one, the inside of the body inside body and that I'm going to go ahead and make a new material and call it uh, black just because we're going to have shadows in there anyway just because we're going to have shadows in there anyway so I'm going to make it just a really dark color so let me hit F12 real quick after setting my control alt 0 let me hit zero on the number pad again, zoom out, get a slightly wider view, and render that out. So, a couple of things that we're supposed to do, we will do now. One is to set the environmental lighting so that we can see into these shadows, maybe not that bright. F12 again, you can see the beginnings of it there. The other thing is this gray, make sure you've got transparency, and that's a render option here under shading. So instead of having that gray sky, we want it to be transparent. So you can see uh, that we've got the beginning of our rocket here. One of the things I discovered is Shift-Z, when we are in this mode, we'll put it into a live render. And I can rotate the rocket. There's some lag there. But I'm going to rotate it around a little bit so you can see this white shininess here. If I go back to my materials palette, and select the purple, you can see that underneath the diffuse, which is the main color, there's something called specular. And you can actually change this so that you have different shiny color there. So you can f decide what color you want those reflections to really be. Um, and changing them up, you'll get some different ideas there. Normally something light colored, of course but just as an idea to make your rocket even more unique. But that is rendering out actively, so I have to hit Shift-Z if I want to go back to this mode again. And let me do one more thing. I'll do the rocket engine here. So let me find it. It's selected here. 
I uh, already did the engine. Let me change that to another color. So I'm going to hit one more color here. And let's see, what would be a good color for the engine? Probably kind of a grayish color like that. Call that, well, that looks like a tan. Maybe have the shadows in there. Let's take a look here. Call that. Remember to rename your materials and that you have access to the different ones. There are some default ones that are white to begin with. Uh, you can delete those, you can use them, whatever you want to do. I just keep my different colors. This little engine port right here is important. We're going to rename that one engine port and we're going to use that later as the source of our particles for the smoke and fire. We need something small in the center so it doesn't look like the particles are coming from all over the place. And we'll get to that next. So let me Take another look here. Yep, looking nice. Control Alt Zero and render out a view of our rocket with color. So that's how you color your rocket.